transporting and storing your playmats for Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and other games is not always as straightforward as rolling up your mat and cramming it in your backpack. Playmats can become creased, warped, stained, and otherwise damaged, if not cared for properly. And this is especially important if you have a special playmat such as a GP mat, game day champion mat, or other precious piece of cloth and rubber. That's why this video will compare and contrast playmat storage and transport cases from Ultra Pro, Monster, Inked Gaming, and Ultimate Guard. Which case or tube is likely to best meet your needs? Let's take a look. First up is the Monster Playmat Tube, a prism-shaped playmat tube that I've said in the past that I liked because its shape makes it so the tube does not roll off tables. The triangular tube design also allows for easy access when getting out your playmat. Again, I had been fond of this shape design in the past and used these quite a lot. I say used and these because I've gone through quite a lot of monster playmat tubes over the years, and that unfortunately is the biggest con about them. They break rather easily. And so the problem with the monster is its fragility. Like I said, the base of this one is, wow, already broken in shipping and just took a minor amount of pressure from my hand. I have had these break literally in my backpack just on the way to the game store where maybe something heavy in my trunk fell on top of my backpack and it doesn't take much pressure as you just saw to break them. Price is affordable at $7.99, sometimes even lower from online resellers, but if anyone ever pushes up against your backpack, the tube is likely toast. These are right on the border, and I'm going to go with a C-. minus. They work, but just barely, and don't last long. Now, the Ultra Pro Playmat and Artwork Tube is considerably better quality. While the round design is going to roll around on the table and can be a little irritating, it's worth it for thicker, sturdier plastic than the Monster Tube. Thick black rubber end caps can be removed from either or both sides of the tube, making it especially easy to get your playmats or even artwork or other small collectibles in and out without stress. Again, while I would not want someone to step on this, it is much more capable of taking pressure without cracking. And at the very reasonable MSRP of $5.99, it's not a major stress on the wallet. The only negative is that the ends of the tube have a somewhat coarse edge. It almost looks like no smoothing process was done, or just a very poor one. But this is a minor complaint. So unlike the monster, the Ultra Pro Tube is absolutely much sturdier, much more secure, and the price point on this is just great. Could I break this if I jumped up and down on it? Yeah, I could probably break it immediately, but you saw how easy. I'm gonna try and break it right now and let's see how much pressure it requires. I feel confident I can break this. I haven't actually tried, so we're gonna find out together, but I do know and I can tell that this is gonna take a lot more pressure than the monster. Oh, wow. Look at that. It doesn't even have a crease in it. This is great. I think we just went up half a grade at least. I think we're going up half a grade here after that demonstration. Especially of interest to people with a lot of special commemorative playmats, the Ultra Pro Tube is a solid B+. Inked gaming playmat bags are specifically designed to hold your mats in artwork of your choosing. Custom work can be submitted or you can choose and peruse from their online shops of artists. These are large enough to carry up to two mats and are coated to be water resistant. Best of all, someone stepping on your playmat is not going to break a playmat bag, but the bag will protect your playmat from their dirty boots. All bags come with a drawstring and lock to easily tighten and close, as well as a strap with a carabiner for carrying on your backpack. These are all handmade in-house to order. There is a lot to like about the Inked Gaming Playmat bag. One thing I don't like about Playmat bags in general, and this is not necessarily a problem specifically with the inked gaming bag, but just with the idea of using a bag instead of a tube or a case, is the fact that it offers no protection against potential bends, 
folds and ultimately creasing of your play mat. While a minor bend in your play mat during transport isn't going to be a problem. Imagine this getting shoved down at the bottom of your backpack like this with your trade folder on top. Maybe someone is going to push up your backpack against a wall and it's going to sit there for pre-release or an extended period of time or whatever could happen over the course of a plane flight and you risk potentially damaging your play mat. It's the whole reason we are getting these cases. Is this great for strapping onto your belt to ride your bike down to the game store? Absolutely. Is this something I would want to stick in my bag in the overhead bin of an airplane? Not at all. And that is why I do tend to prefer tubes and cases over bags. Nonetheless, that being said, what Inked Gaming offers in terms of a playmat bag is, like most of their other products, excellent quality excellent quality materials and stitch work. And while I have reservations about using a bag instead of a sturdy tube or case, for a play mat bag, this is an exceptionally high quality item. Grade A minus. The Ultimate Guard Flip and Tray Mat Case is the premium way to protect your play mat. This solid, sturdy case has a magnetic closure, can hold two to three play mats depending on thickness, and even has a removable tray for dice, counters, and other small items. Innovative Xeno Skin material provides an anti-slip texture that is resistant to scuffs and damage and, quite frankly, looks great. The box itself is super rigid. When combined with the double layer skin of the Xeno Skin, it provides maximum protection for your mats. Really durable. The interior has a premium microfiber lining. Elegant and long-lasting and ideal for those who have a play mat of special importance. Xeno Skin exterior microfiber interior, and this is exactly like a giant flip and tray box only for your play mat instead. Is the price point on this significantly higher than the Ultra Pro Tube? Absolutely, but look at how much more you're getting in terms of style and overall quality. Do I think that every single Magic the Gathering player everywhere needs, needs, needs to get one of these for their common playmat? No, absolutely not. But the players that this is going to be of interest to are those players with a very special playmat, a GP mat, a game day mat, a mat that they have had an artist custom illustrate, or another limited quality edition that means something to them and that they want to ensure is stored and transported in the ultimate playmat protection. And for those players, the ultimate guard playmat case is for them. MSRP is indeed a lot at $35, but if you are buying a case to keep your mat mint and transport and store it with optimal protection, then this is likely worth the cost for your needs. Grade. In terms of quality, this is a solid A. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. See how these grades compare and contrast with every other product reviewed by this channel over at www.talariancommunitycollege.com. And remember that this video video, like all my videos, is made possible only thanks to the support of patron alums over at Patreon. Donations as little as $1 a month keep this channel going and growing strong. So thank you.